and the water came here. The water has gone, but it has left behind even more misery. All across Pakistan, crops have been submerged for days, even weeks. This maize field should have been ready to harvest, but instead the crop is dead, even rotting. It has created much hardship for Sartaj Ali. He is a local teacher, and like many in his village, he's also a small farmer and depends on the food he grows. These fields were the source of uh, food for me, and it was lost. I lost all my fields, so it will be very difficult for me, but I shall try. Ali also lost his precious beehives. They're expensive, and he doesn't have the means to replace them. But this is not just about personal financial loss. The muddy river water has caused long-term damage to the agricultural infrastructure. Entire fields were buried under several meters of mud, and irrigation systems are choked. In the mud, uh, you can see the mud is also mm, in the sub-canals. And the water irrigation system is uh, very, very destroyed by the flood. Critical, too, is the loss of wheat stock. This storage container was soaked, and the grains inside are useless. And Ali can't afford to buy any more in the market. Our uh, um, country is, uh, um, depends on agriculture, so the infrastructure of agriculture is destroyed. So it will be very, very difficult for all of my countrymen to earn their living from these uh, fields. All Ali can do now is shift through the wreckage of his home and salvage what he can. Blankets buried in mud can be used again, he says. His previous book collection can be washed. But it may be much harder to restore his fields to how they once were. <laughs>